If Hampton Institute hopes to win the tournament, it will need a good showing from this man, number 44, Ricky Mahorn. The 6'10 junior is the premier center in the league, picked as the CIAA's most valuable player this season by both the sportscasters and the coaches. As a sophomore, he was an NAIA first team All-American. His 21 and a half point average this year places him 17th in the list of NCAA Division II scorers. Mahorn admits there's nothing he'd like better than a championship game against Norfolk State. That's how the tournament ended last year. Norfolk State, though, came out on top. So, like, from last season and the past times they beat us, I like to beat them again. A known school makes me play better. Like Winston-Salem or Norfolk State or Morgan State. Any team with a name makes me play more harder. I would like to have a chance and an opportunity before I leave school to play against Old Dominion, but I played against them this summer in Virginia in a tournament in Norfolk this summer, a little um, college tournament. It was pretty nice, and I had my chance to play against Ronnie Valentine and a few of the other players he had. How does the CIAA size up comparably to, say, players like Valentine? Well, all the teams are good and have their own set patterns. It's just I wish they'd stop comparing them like Division One and Division Two and Division Three, and just put it in one big division, because some schools can beat other schools. So you're going to prove this during the tournament? Try to. Again, the CIAA tournament begins Thursday at Scope with the final game live Saturday afternoon right here on Wavy TV 10.